using swimming as a way to uh, get into shape. Tash. Yep, Simi, and we're putting the trainers to the test this morning here. My exercise is down there, but we're going to start here with Ariel and Dean. Uh, this, I mean, you always typically think the arms for swimming, but this kind of works out everything. Yeah, it's actually uh, obviously the, one of the most important things, or probably the most important thing for swimming is the core. So we do a lot of our training, we call it building from the inside out. So finding the center of the body, which is the core, and then working your way out from there. So this drill that uh, Ariel's demoing here is, uh, is this TRX low ab pull-in. So she's controlling in, okay, working her lower abdominals, stabilizing with her shoulders and core at the same time. Okay, we'll make it a little more challenging for her as well. We're gonna need to throw a push up in there, get some upper body strength in there as well, some body weight strength, very, you know, again, something that we use in, in swimming all the time. Look okay. fabulous, Focusing Ariel. Focusing on the core. Nice work, Ariel. You can stop now, we'll let you stop. We may do more than eight, but you can always do that on a ball, stability ball, right? Yeah, you, you can use a stability it. ball for sure, or a ballast ball, either one would be great. Okay, Casey's all ready to go here. Oh, yeah. Okay, so Casey's gonna demo a, uh, this, this drill concentration is a little bit more on the shoulder, but you can see very good demand on the core as well. So a very common injury we see in swimming is we call swimmer shoulder. So a lot of uh, shoulder, um, sh shoulder impingements and things like that that happen in the joint. So this drill focuses on stabilizers in the shoulder as well as strength. Okay, and at the same time, he's building his core. So we really wanna make sure on this one, he's alternating, he can come down with two hands if he wants as well, make it a little bit easier. Okay, we wanna really make sure that he's not dropping his hips and his hips are staying level all the way through. Okay, good job, Casey. So now it's, now it's up to yours, <laughs> nice work, Casey. My so, turn now. <laughs> so we're gonna get you in a supine position, meaning facing up, okay, which the concentration for you is gonna be on your back muscles. So a lot of swimming is, is done forwards, front, front crawl, uh, freestyle, things like that. So we really wanna work on the opposing muscles, which is the back, okay? So okay. we're gonna start basic, perfect. Got the elbows in nice and tight. You wanna bring the shoulder blades together. Oh, okay, and a little pause on top. Like okay, you're gonna relax your trapezius muscle as well. It's a big muscle at the top of the neck there, and control back. And to make it a little harder? Okay, to make it a little harder, we're gonna bring your feet in. Okay, we'll go uh, go wide stance there, good. Excellent, right against the fence, you're coming up. Getting that pause, <laughs> <laughs> excellent. Pause. And then control back. Make it a little more challenging, go feet together. Okay, just narrow your base support. <laughs> yeah, we we'll go, we'll go feet together, yeah, and we can... Up here. We can try it even up there. That's even more advanced, nice work. So we're gonna suspend the feet on the fence. David, and Simi, I only have one in me. Come on. Just one in me. Ready? Up, up. You can do nice. it, Tasha. I told you. That's all I can do. Good job. <laughs> do that again. <laughs> Thank you. That's all I can do. Just that one little weak little... Oh, part. you're gonna be sore tomorrow, kid. Okay. Oh, no. Thank you, Tasha. I love the way you're her, like, personal training. That's right, David. It all starts with the core and stability here. Okay, so, Dean, we're on these planks. What are these planks called? Or this is called the Extreme Balance Board. Uh-huh. Okay, so we're going to do our first drill is going to be focused on balance. So for golf, balance is obviously a key component to uh, to our golf swing and, and our performance on the uh, on the golf course. So we wanna be able to find perfect point of balance. So the first drill we're gonna do, we're gonna try and find your perfect point of balance. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get you to actually just watch the ball, okay? And you're gonna come straight across your body, watching the ball only, eyes on the ball, and then you're gonna come straight across as well, maintaining your balance all the way through. So do it nice and slowly. Okay. The goal here is we're basically gonna rely on our proprioceptive system, okay? So we're taking away our vision by looking at the ball only and uh, making it more challenging to try and find our perfect point of balance. Oh, how long should you do this for? So you'd probably do about uh, about six reps per side. Uh -huh. Okay, you could probably go about 30 to 40 seconds per side. Okay, take a rest in between and relieve uh, the uh, okay. muscular endurance in the lower body. So uh, important again for golf swing, we want to be able to find that perfect point of balance uh, at the strike of the, of the ball. Okay. okay, over here. So number two, we're going to get into our core. Okay, and when we get into our core, Ultimately, we're on our feet in golf. We're swinging the ball on our feet. We want our core to be strong and stable on our feet. So this drill we call a closed kinetic chain. This is a ballast ball push standing on the BOSU. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, you're gonna shoulder blades back and together. You're gonna draw your belly button in. Because I guess out. it's a natural reaction kind of hunch over. Huh? It is, definitely. So you're gonna, you're gonna flatten out that low back, low back. Okay, again, activate that core perfectly. Okay, I'm gonna move the ball on you. You're gonna try and stabilize and hold it there. Okay, ready? Okay. Hold. You're really nice pushing. work. <laughs> gonna change directions. You need to hold to the middle. We're gonna work your cross body. We're gonna go shoulder to hip. And try again. Okay. Okay, with two little progressions. This one we can put you into a golf swing. A golf stance is more of a uh, upright position, extension through the through the legs, and you're gonna shift your hips forward. Okay, so more of a so stand up a little taller. Okay. Now just shift your uh, upper torso forward. There you go. So more of a golf stance, a little higher uh, center of gravity. Okay. Again, a little bit more challenging from this position. 
And you want to try the last one? A little more challenging as well? Yeah. Okay, you're gonna add a jump. So just a little jump, and you're gonna land, and you gotta find your stability and your balance using your core. As you land, I'm gonna give you two taps. One more. Okay. Nice. Excellent. Okay. Now Jump. that my uh, thighs are going to buckle, <laughs> I have to get on this well again, done. right? That was well done. Okay, so the next one we're going to do, we're going to work on our rotation. So core rotation. Uh, we'll have Ariel and Casey just queue up a couple uh, regressions. So uh, first one on the BOSU, most easiest, obviously, less stability through the lower body. Ariel's going to work a cross body hip to shoulder. Uh -huh. Okay. We're gonna get you up on the ballast ball here, Tasha. Okay, okay. the ballast ball is a little bit easier than a stability ball. It's got sand on the bottom, so it okay. gives you a little extra support, and I'll give you a hand if you need it. Yes. There we go. Okay. Okay, making sure you got a spotter here. Okay, you're gonna get the medicine ball. What I want you to do is you're gonna work left hip, okay, up to right shoulder. So from here, coming through, transfer the energy through the left hip, all the way extend through the right shoulder. Okay, so again, mm. golf is a, uh, is a rotational okay. uh, sport, so we need to be strong through the core be able to get rotational power. Okay, thank you very much, Dean. I'm gonna continue my workout here in North Van. Uh, let's head back now to the station with Simi. You got it. All right, keep working, Tasha. Nice. Thanks very much for that. We are getting ready for all our summer sports. So all morning long, we've been doing a whole bunch of different sports. We've now moved on to tennis, a very popular um, thing to do in the summer. And Ariel is working away here. Dean, what is she doing? Ariel is demonstrating a, uh, basically it's a hurdle lateral uh, movement drill. She's going two in with the hurdles, quick step in the middle, lateral movement to a single leg deceleration. So again, very common theme with a lot of these multi-directional sports is training the braking mechanism, so which mm -hmm. is the deceleration. So the stopping part of the agility is important because that's where we see injury and that's where we get our speed and power from. Okay, so I'll try that here. And I guess Good. once you get it going, you can kind of add the arm swing. Exactly, yeah. Start to coordinate the arms as you go. Really get low, <laughs> try and use your hips. You can start to add a tennis racket in there exactly. On the outside, you get, a, get, the, get the backhand in there, forehand on the right side. Perfect. Good. And you really want to create an angle. It's key to get power and speed the opposite direction is lean into the direction that you're going to go. Okay. And a drill like this does work. <laughs> About 10 reps there. A drill like this, we Ooh. typically would do timed and you may go through 15 seconds, high speed, even 10 seconds, work more of your anaerobic alactic system, rest for 10 and then go again. So you'd kind of do re repetition, probably about four sets. Okay. Something like that. So let's move on here. This is a good kind of team thing to do, even though. Yes, this drill is very important for tennis. So once we've learned movement skills, it's key that we get into some reaction. So obviously the game of uh, tennis is built on reactivity. So Casey's going to demo this drill. He's going to start in an athletic stance in the, in the middle here. I'm going to give him a directional cue. Okay, he's going to touch the cone with his tennis racket hand. Okay, either way, he's going to quickly react. I can point backwards and he's going to react straight line and back to the middle. Excellent. Casey, we want to see a tennis racket in your hand. Come on. <laughs> you ready, Tasha? Oh, yeah, sure. Okay, step on the middle. Nice work, Casey. Okay, start in the middle, athletic position, ready to go. Here you go. Nice. Back pedal facing me to the middle. Good stuff. Fast return in the middle. Let's go one more. Oh. One more. <laughs> And relax. Nice work. So are. you can see this drill, not only agility and, and reactivity, but we're oh. training the conditioning system as well. Okay, so let's move on to this one here. Okay, so last one we're going to do, we're going to go into a, a strength drill. Okay, so we're going to use a smart toner again. And with the strength drill here, we're going to go into a lunge position. We're going to work actually through, call it a chest fly. So you're going to work on the movement and the muscles, the sequencing that we do to hit the ball. Okay, we're going to do forehand and then we'll switch you into a backhand as well. Okay. okay, so I want you to step forward with your left foot. Okay, and you're going to come across. Good, nice and controlled. And then back to the middle, you're going to step back. Okay, same thing again. Come across, control, and bring it back. Okay, Hello. we're going to try the same thing with a backhand as well. Okay. Okay, step with the same leg, come across, and back. Whoops. Nice. Okay, how many on each side? We'll go eight per side. Okay, we're gonna <laughs> rotate it up. Maybe not for today, but typically you'd wanna do uh, your, your uh, again, you'd go anywhere between eight to 12 reps and probably with two to three sets on this drill. Okay. okay and focuses on shoulder strength and stabilization. Thank you very much, Dean. Let's head back to the station with Simi. Oh.